something, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's get us started into our lesson. The first step when multiplying fractions is to multiply the two numerators. The second step is to multiply the two denominators. Finally, simplify the new fractions. The fractions can also be simplified before multiplying by factoring out common factors in the numerator denominator. We'll talk about common factors and factoring another day. But we are talking about multiplying fractions. So here's a tip for you. If you know how to multiply and you know all about fractions, this is the right video for you. If not, then this is not the good video for you. All right, let's learn about multiplying fractions. So we have 12 times 1 sixth. So let's write that out. We have 12 times 1 sixth. You might be con confused and be like, what? So, if there's no number here, don't worry, because you're always supposed to put over 1. 12 divided by 1 is 12, so it's the same thing. All right, so we do equals. This is in, this around here is the numerators, and these are the denominators. So we're supposed to do from numerators to denominators. Okay, so 12 times 1 is 12. We have 12 times 12, 1 is 12. And then 1 times 6 is 6. So we have to see if we can simplify this, because always simple, trying simplifying is always the best way. So we have to see the, it has to be both equal to. If we divide this one, it has to be divisible to this. So let's divide, divided by 6, divided by 6. This is also divisible. You can do like divided by 2, but we're going to do this way. 12 divided by 6 is 2 over 6 divided by 6 is 1. And 2 divided by 1 is 2. So the answer for this problem for 12 over 1 times 1 6 is 2. So now let's put our answer in. Yes, now go on to the next question. Okay, so we're going to write down on the board 1 over 12 times 5 equals, so we always have to do 5, I mean over 1, whenever there's a number by itself. So first we have to uh, multiply 1 times 5, which is 5, over 12, because 12 times 1 is 12. So the answer is 5 over 12. Correct. Now the next problem. Okay, so we have to multiply 5 times 1 over 5. It's 5 times 1 over 5. So we know we have to do over 1. Then we have to do 5 times 1, which is 5. And then 1 times 5 is 5. So we, we can't, um, we, we can simplify it and do it 5 divided by five, 1, I mean 5, and it equals to 1. A whole, so it's one whole. That's the answer. All right, next problem. Okay, we have... 2 and 1 half. Last question. 2 times 1 half. And if you want to reload this um, and go back to the video again, you can. don't worry. It doesn't matter. So let's do over 1 because we know that 2 divided by 1 is 2. So we can make it a little easier, simpler, simpler. So 2 times 1 is 2. We multiply the denominators. 1 times 2 equals 2. So we say 2 divided by 2, which is 1. The answer is also 1, just like the last problem. So I hope you a little bit understand. Don't worry, we'll go over this more. Okay, now let's play a game. So it's asking us a question. Okay, so it's saying 1 over 3 times 3 over 4. So let's write it down. 1 over 3 times 1 over 4, 2, 3 over 4. And then you know that you have to do 1 times 3, which is 3. And 3 times 4 is 12. 
you can simplify it and make it 3 divided by 3 and 12 divided by 3. So that equals 1 over 4. That's the answer, 1 over 4. Let's do another problem. 3 over 8, 3 over 8 times 2 over 5 equals. So 3 times 2 is 6 over 8 times 5 is 40. So you can divide it by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 40 divided by 2 is 20. So the answer is 3 over 20. Okay, let's do another question. So, 1 sixth times 1 third. Let's try calculating that and try doing this with me. 1 sixth times, times 1 third. See this if you can do this on your own. So 1 times 1, like we know, is 1, obviously. 6 times 3 is 18. So you cannot divide any number with 1 divided by 18. So you can, you can leave this 1 18th. So the answer is 1 over 18. That's right. Okay, let's do one more. Um, so let's write down. Um, 2 over 5 times 5 over 8 equals 2 times 5 is 10 over 5 times 8 is 40. And you can simplify it by 2. 10, I mean. Um, so divided by 10 equals 1 over 4. So 40 divided by 10 is 4. Correct. Now let's do one more question before we end this video. 1 fourth times 4 fifths. Okay. 1 fourth times, let's see that again, 4 fifths. Alright, so we know that 1 times 4, if you know multiplication, is 4. And we know that 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So, we need to simplify this by 4 and divide it by 4, because they can both divide by 4, which is 1. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the answer is 1 fifth. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you learn all about multiplying fractions. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye.